You hear the words starving artist a lot, and struggling artists will tell you it's tough to make ends meet. A tiny town in southern Arizona is making it affordable for some lucky artists to keep a roof over their heads, and that is helping put Ajo back on the map. There are some big voices in this small town. Benjamin Wands is just one of them. It's got fantastic acoustics for me. My, my style of singing, I like really raising my voice and raising you know, the acoustics in there. And, uh, it, it's perfect for me, late at night. Right now, I mean, ceramic sculpture, uh, drawing, painting. I'm doing an art installation of marionettes. My name is Morgana Wallace Cooper, and my artwork is community-based art. I'm an educator and an artist. These voices, these artists, are all living and working inside this building. It's called the Curly School. It was built back in 1919 when Ajo was still a thriving copper mining town. It stayed that way until the 1980s when mining stopped. The Curly School is now home and workspace for 30 artists. I have never been in a better space for an artist to live and work in and uh, the ceilings are really high, the walls are big, it's a perfect uh, space for an artist. I did marionettes as a child. I worked for Jim Henson's Muppets, which were puppets, not marionettes. The work of these artists has character. Some of them are characters too. And so is Ajo and this old school. Ajo is a spot that's out in the middle of no place. It's in the middle of the Sonor Sonoran Desert, you know. But uh, that, that fits my uh, personality and what I need right now, what I'm looking for. The Curly School building surrounds these modern artists with turn-of-the-century touches. The cornices, the inlays, the Spanish colonial architecture, which, back in 1919, was the new hip thing. More restoration, more space for artists to live and work is still underway. And our whole things just move like this all the time. It's, it's not a choppy thing the way it is in cities or a <clears throat> The way it is in cities, Ajo flows. And then there's world literature all over the place. Rupert Schmidt writes novels and poems. The fact that the auditorium door opens up to the outside creates diverse perspectives and allows for different types of viewing. With the push of a button, the old high school auditorium can now be an open air exhibition space. The ceilings are high, the rent is low. I pay less for it. And that allows me to comfortably stay at home and work on my art and not really have to worry about the bills. Besides the wheel work, uh, ceramic murals now, and being in uh, a neighborhood, if you will, uh, of artists has given me a lot of uh, mentoring that I wouldn't have gotten anyplace else. Silent nights? Well, that actually depends on what part of the Curly School you're living in. You that I love you. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Late at night, in this hallway, there's only one underground living space. So, uh, you know, I'm not disturbing very many people. 